Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at the Proven Ground Dual Rear Exit Exhaust System with black tips, fitting 2009 to 2018 5.7 liter Ram 1500s equipped with the factory dual exhaust. If you want some raucous noise out of your Hemi-powered Ram, but you don't want to spend a fortune or suffer through a straight pipe setup to get there, then this system is going to speak to you. It gives you a great sound and a lot more volume than your factory exhaust, and thus we're going to give it a 4 out of 5 on our loudness meter. And while it might break necks, it's definitely not going to break the bank. Proven Ground's exhaust systems have been popular with our customers for a while, and for good reason. They make a great sound, and they come in at a great price. And in the case of this one, it's also well made too. What we've got here is a full capac system. So this is gonna be fully compliant, keep your catalytic converters in place. It's gonna replace your factory muffler and resonator and just have this small bullet style muffler. Now this guy is the key to the whole thing. And as you heard in the clips at the beginning of the video, this setup is loud. It's one that's gonna get your truck some attention for sure. And whether you think that's a good thing or not, well, that's up to you. Regardless though, this is gonna be much louder than stock. And as you can see, this is gonna be less restrictive, which means more flow than your stock setup and you're mostly just going to feel this through the seat of your pants you're also going to hear it too you've got some resonance that's going to come through here too but it's also going to pair well with other breather or engine modifications now more sound means that it will be of course louder inside as well so you should plan on having to turn up your stereo or speak up a bit in order to hear or have conversations but like the clips earlier showed it's not going to deafen you or anything just go in knowing that this is going to be noticeably louder than what you have on your stock setup but Man, does this sound good. I'm constantly impressed by these exhausts and how they sound. This one is gonna give you a much deeper tone right out of the gate. And though it's a little bit more mellow than you might expect at idle, once you get into it, you've got plenty of growl and a very aggressive note. Definitely cool, definitely loud, and definitely something that's gonna get attention. Speaking of which, this is gonna exit in the same location as your stock exhaust, but the difference here, obviously, are the black tips. Now, these are T304 stainless, and they're a bit larger in diameter than your stock ones as well. So they're gonna make for a really nice visual update, albeit a bit more of a subtle one than some others out there. No matter what paint color or trim you've got, these are gonna look right at home. They've got that nice slash cut too, and they're gonna fill out that well in the back of the bumper pretty nicely. Now this same system is also offered with chrome tips, should that be more your speed as well, and you can check that one out on our site. The system here is constructed from T409 grade mandrel bent stainless steel, so it's gonna provide you with some pretty good resistance against corrosion and rust. You get two and a half inch diameter piping here, so that's gonna make for some nice exhaust gas flow as well. And everything is really darned nice. I can't really stress that enough. All the welds are pretty good. For something that's made of 409 and that comes in at this price, it's not what you would expect. Now, this is not gonna give you the same level of protection that you would get with a T304 stainless setup, but it also doesn't come with the price of T304 either. Speaking of which, this is gonna come in right about at the $450 mark, and that makes it wickedly inexpensive for an exhaust of this caliber and this size. This is gonna undercut most of the other options in the category, making it one of the least expensive ones you can get for this generation of RAM. And I really can't stress enough that you're getting a lot for your money here. The build quality is pretty darn good, and not just for the price. All the welds are really neat and tidy, Everything looks good. It's 409 stainless, and just look at it. It comes out of the box looking exactly like this. I didn't have to do a darned thing. So if you like the sound here and you like those black tips, which really, what's not to like about them, I think you're gonna be really happy with this setup. Installation gets the typical two out of three on our difficulty meter, and it should take you about two hours to complete. Now, just like most other exhausts, installing this can be a little bit finicky because of space constraints and because there is a lot of piping here, but it's certainly something that the DIY mechanic can tackle at home. Now, it is worth noting that this is also gonna retain all of your stock exhaust hanger locations, and it doesn't require you to do any modifications to your truck. So with that, why don't we quit talking about it, and we'll head on out to the install bay and show you how to get this one done. The tools you'll need for this project are an impact gun, a ratchet, a 13, a 15, a 16, a 17 millimeter socket, possibly a dead blow hammer, exhaust hanger removal tool, and some spray lube. Hi everyone, today we're installing an exhaust on our RAM, but first let's watch a short video on how to uninstall the stock system. We have to remove our factory system. That includes pulling both tailpipes on either side of the truck as well as the factory muffler. We're going to unbolt the tailpipes from the muffler first using a 15 millimeter socket. That's going to allow us to pull the tailpipes off of the rubber isolators.
All right, now that we have those two tailpipe clamps loosened on the muffler, we're gonna go ahead and pull the tailpipes from the isolators. Once the tailpipes are pulled from the rubber isolators, that's gonna give us enough leverage that we can kind of wriggle them out from the muffler itself, and then we can actually pull our muffler. All right, now that we have our driver side tailpipe removed, we're gonna do the same thing for the passenger side. The passenger side only has one hanger up here, makes it a little bit easier on us. All right, next we have to loosen the clamps to carrying our muffler to our flow tube here. That's also gonna be a 15 millimeter socket. With the clamp holding our muffler loosened, we're gonna spray down our last two rubber isolators and then we're gonna pull the muffler from our mid pipe. Now, if any of those rubber isolators are giving you a hard time, you can actually knock the muffler loose from the clamp that you loosened using a dead blow mallet. That'll give you enough leverage to pull it out of the rubber isolator. First thing we're gonna do is install our muffler. And to do that, we're gonna slide one of the three inch clamps over the end of the muffler and then slide it onto the mid pipe already on the truck. Now, once you've got it on, we can go ahead and tighten up that clamp with our 15 millimeter socket. And when you tighten this up, you wanna make sure that your clamp is close to the end of the actual muffler pipe. Now we'll go ahead and install our extension pipe here with the dual outlet exhaust for our tailpipes. Now we'll go ahead and slide our other three inch clamp on the back side of the muffler and install our extension pipe for the tailpipes. And to do that, we're gonna hook up these two exhaust hangers into the isolators already on the truck, and then we'll slide the other end into the back of the muffler. Now, once we do that, we're just gonna snug the clamp down to allow for adjustment once we get the rest of the system installed. Now you wanna make sure that this pipe is completely seated inside the muffler before you snug it down. And we'll snug it down with our 15 millimeter socket. Now we'll install the first half of our tailpipe section onto the extension on the back of the muffler using our two and a half inch clamp. Now again, we're not going to tighten this all the way down because we're gonna to need to allow for adjustment when we get the rest of the system installed. So we'll slide the shorter of the two pipes over the axle and then slide it until it seats all the way onto the extension pipe. Now we'll go ahead and snug that up using our 15 millimeter socket. Now we can go ahead and install the last section of the tailpipe using another two and a half inch clamp. We'll slide that over the end and then we'll put the hanger into the rear isolator here and then we'll slide the pipe over the over the axle section. Now 
And once you've got it fully seated, we'll go ahead and snug it up with our 15 mil socket. Now we can go ahead and install the driver's side. Now we slide a two and a half inch clamp over the end of our over the axle pipe and feed it through. And then we'll hook up the hanger on the pipe here to the isolator that's right above the axle. Now, once you've got that in, we can go ahead and insert this into the extension pipe. Make sure that it's seated all the way in, and then we'll snug that up with our 15 millimeter socket as well. Now, we'll slide our last two and a half inch clamp over the last section of tailpipe here, and again, insert the hanger into this rear isolator, and then we'll slip this over the last section of pipe. Once you've got the pipe fully inserted, we can go ahead and snug that up with our 15 mil socket. Now we can go ahead and install our exhaust tips. So we'll just snug this up using our 13 millimeter socket. Now that we've got our system completely installed and we've double checked our alignment, make sure everything is, is straight where we want it to be and it's not interfering with anything, now we can go back through and tighten up all of our clamps for the final time and go ahead and drive this thing. And that wraps up our review and install of the Proven Ground dual exhaust system with black tips and a rear exit for your 09 to 18 5.7 liter Ram 1500 with factory dual exhaust. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.